Michael was very fast with updating Atmosphere so that it is compatible with the Switch version 18.1.0. So I did the packages that includes Atmosphere, Hecate and all the other things which you need. For that you can update your Switch to the fullest, newest version. And the highlight of everything is that I even dumped the original firmware 18.1.0 for that every one of you can actually update offline. And no one else did this before so I am right now once again the first who is doing this. Hello everyone, my name is you, this is Better Gaming. Alright guys, if you only want to update your Switch, you want to to join our telegram and I will put the link inside the description and here you will find a pinned message because this here is only for announcements and there you can click on view group and then you will join our better gaming group on telegram where you will find homebrew packs and here you will find the switch cost of firmware 18.1.0 and then you will just need to download that and while it's downloading you can like actually connect your micro SD card from your Nintendo switch of course to your computer and it will look like this here once you have the folder downloaded it is as simple as copy paste everything from here here inside you will just need to drag and drop it and it will ask you if you want to replace stuff and you will need to answer yes I want to replace stuff. And like this you have already the updated files on your micro SD card but it isn't over yet. But before we go further on I just wanted to showcase and tell every one of you who already know this um, that I have right now a new official mega package and here with one copy paste you will have all of those things here inside and it's by far the best thing you can get because it's just qualitative. I have a lot of experience many many people don't have and I just wanted to tell you that this is definitely by far the best thing you can do to your Switch. And it is only for Patreon members who are right now a member of 5 US dollars per month. So this is actually nothing for all the work which you will get here inside. Also, there are very, very cool themes. And as you can see, I have here right now a new Evil Zelda theme installed and made uh, especially for this package. It is AI generated, so you won't find any of those pictures anywhere else. It's a very cool thing. So if, you, if you're subscribed to the Patreon and you go here into the settings and then click here on more connected apps, and then connect with the Discord app, then at the very end you will join our Discord server here as you can see. Here you will find Mega Pack, and here inside the Mega Pack you can download four files. They're, they're most likely between four to five files, and if you download all of those parts here, as you can see I have the four parts here, you can right click it, you click on WinRAR, and then extract to Mega Package 18.1.0 version 3. What it will do is to compress all of those four packs together for that you will get one folder out of it. And as you can see, the folder is much bigger than the other one because here you will have definitely way more things inside. And what you want to do afterwards is actually the same thing as before. You want to open up the microSD card of yours and then you want to simply copy paste everything here inside. And it will once again ask you if you want to replace stuff and you want to click on yes, replace everything there is to replace. All right, very clean. Once it's done, you can like actually close everything, take your macro SD card out of your computer, put it back into your Switch and then boot up Hecate. Once you are in Hecate, you want to click here on tools, you want to click here on Archbit RCM and then click on fix archive bit. Now, why we are doing this is because after you are transferring files from your computer to your micro SD card, there is a high chance that some files are getting corrupted or you know, like having like some sort of error while transferring and this will fix it actually. It's a very good thing and everyone should do it all the time, every time when you are transferring any file to your micro SD card. Once it's done, you can like actually close it here, then go to the home menu, click on launch and as you can see, I right now click on custom firmware emu MMC. If you don't have an emu MMC, you will firstly need to install it. But right now I will not show it to you. So if you have no emu MMC, you will just need to click on custom firmware assistant, all right? Even though I recommend to have an emu MMC. So I click right now on custom firmware emu MMC and it will actually start to load the switch. So once we are here inside, as you can see, I just already installed the new theme, but I will show it to you later on how to install this theme, which is also already in the mega package inside. What you want to do is actually go to the HB menu. So here, as you can see, it's it's the album thing for you, but for me, it's here in the double, uh, down left. Once you are here inside, we want to search for Daybreak, all right? As you can see here is Daybreak. And what we want to do is to click here on install, and then you will find an 18.1.0 file here inside, or an OFW 18.1.0. One of both will be here inside. You will just need to click on it because both of them are the same. And then you will need to click on continue, preserve settings, install FAT32 plus XFAT, and then continue and then wait until, until the OFW is installed on your Switch. This will take around 30 seconds, and then click on reboot, Kate, click on launch, and then once again custom firmware Immunant, or if you don't have an Immunant, go to Sysnant. But I have an Immunant installed, so I click on Immu MMC. So, and right now I think there will be an error popping up after the picture which is showing right now. Yeah, here we go. We have, we have right now here an error code which is right now popping up and doesn't let us inside 
um, firmware 18.1.0, as you can see here on the top left. But over that, you will see the uh, error code which we have and underneath the program which is doing this error code, right? And what, what we want to uh, check out is this program. As you can see, zero, zero, 01, many zeros, 1000. What we want to do right now is to click any key for that we uh, like actually reboot the system once again. And we want to take out our micro SD card and connect it actually to the computer. What I'm going to do is to do this over Hecate. So I go to tools, USB tools, SD card. So I'm going to do this here quickly like this. And what we want to do is actually go to atmosphere, as you can see, then contents. Uh, there we go. And we had like the error zero, one, many zeros, 1000. We want to delete this. Yes. And what we actually afterwards want to do is to eject our micro SD card again, or the switch itself. Click on close, close, home launch and then imumc or sysnet whatever you have installed right now and then we're gonna wait quickly and hope that this was actually the last error code the first and the last if you want to have like more different error codes then you just need to repeat it all the time with the program id which you will, which you will find on the top left and if this won't work on atmosphere contents that leaves the folder then you can all the time join us um, on Discord or on Telegram, and there we will help you actually for your problems. Now, as you can see, now as you can see, my theme isn't installed. This is because uh, the themes were actually doing the error, and we needed to delete the themes, which means we can right now reinstall the themes. So what we're going to do is to click here on yes, extracting home menu, blah blah blah. And right now, as you can see, if you have like a mecha package, you will get an Evil Zelda One AI generated uh, theme. So what we want to do is to install all of those here. Click on plus for installing it, and afterwards we need to reboot. And here we go. Right now we are on the version 18.1.0 with the Evil Zelda theme installed. It's very, very dope, bros. I really, really upgraded my skills with uh, AI generating and with Automatic 11.11 or Stable Diffusion, however you want to call it. And as you can see, the themes themselves are just sick. Like the pictures themselves of the theme are so sick. It's actually quite, quite, quite awesome and I love them. Alright guys, if you aren't a Patreon member, you still can like get a preview of the AI generated themes which I'm just creating right now at the moment. And you will just need to go through themes or as you can see here from Better Gaming, I will put the link into the description. But if you only want to like the code of the Evil Zelda preview, then you will just need to take P7CD on Themeser. And as you can see, just to verify, if you go here to the settings and go all the way down to system, we will see that we are right now on now on 18.1.0. And this is something very, very cool. I just wanted to show every one of you how you can update those files. And I definitely was hard working and doing like my best so that I can like update everything as fast as possible for every one of you. So yeah guys, if I somehow helped you in any kind of way inside this video, then I would definitely appreciate if you would like this video. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't right now, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Don't you ever forget to smile, my name is you, I love all of you. One time for the hometown, I got love for it, that's real. Two times for the haters, man, cause I noticed how this shit feel. Three times for my family dog, cause this shit done paid our bills. And I get four times my net worth from a year ago with no deals. Did it all by myself, I don't need nothing. Try to hunt songs, I'ma keep coming. Remember times it wouldn't reply.